Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to create a scoring rubric within Canvas. There are actually two different ways that you can add the rubric. So we will look at the two places where you can go to create the rubric and then we will look at exactly how you add the components into your rubric. First of all, you'll notice that on the left hand side of your screen within the course navigation there will be an area called Outcomes. And when you go into Outcomes, uh, this is where you can set up uh, course objectives um, if you need to do so. But you'll also notice that at the far right there's a button that says Manage Rubrics. And once you're in this area, you can very easily add a rubric by clicking on Add Rubric. Now the other way that you can actually add a rubric that would be saved in this same spot is when you go into an assignment. So we'll just open up this first assignment. And you'll notice that once the assignment is created, you can go right here to the very bottom and again there is an Add Rubric button. Now this rubric is going to work exactly like the rubric that we saw over in Outcomes. So we will look here at how to edit this rubric. So if I need to create a brand new rubric, the first thing I would do would be to name the rubric. So I'm going to call this a discussion rubric. Then once you have named the rubric, you are going to decide how many criteria you need and then also how many ratings you need. To add a criterion, you just click on the button that says Add Criterion, and it will add that into the rubric. If for these uh, each criterion you need more than just two ratings, you can click this plus sign to add additional ratings. So if I need four ratings, I would just have to add two more in the middle. So I'm going to click the plus sign to add and the plus sign to add. If I inadvertently add too many, the delete button is the little X and I can very easily delete the rating out. So the most important thing then is to come up with what is your criterion and what is going to be your point value. So you'll notice that as the points are added up, the total will be here at the bottom. So if I want the total of my points to equal 100 so that it matches my grading system, then I would want to make sure that all the components I put in here add up to 100. So to add the criterion, I'm just going to click where it says Description of Criterion and I'm going to add in the first criterion. So my first criterion is going to be content. Maybe my next cr criterion is going to be mechanics. So once I have those in, I can go back and edit by clicking if I need to change them up. It's very simple to edit those. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to add the descriptions for my ratings. So on the on a uh, the content for the full marks. If I want this to actually count as 50 points, since there's only two criterion, then I would go ahead and set my points. And then I would type in here a description for the content. So here I'm adding in my criterion and then I click OK. And so for each one of these um, I'm going to just click and add in. But I do want you to notice that once I set the top points to be 50 it automatically set points for the other ratings. However, when I go in to edit this rating I can edit these points. So if you do not agree with what it automatically sets as the grading points, you can adjust those as needed. So to create your rubric, 
very easily. You just go in and add your criterion, put in your ratings, make sure your points add up to what you want them to add up to. So here I would want this to also be a 50 for my scoring so that my points add up to 100. You would then come down here and notice that there are uh, different options that you can have. If you just want to write freeform comments when assessing students, you can check that. Uh, if you want to use this for grading an assignment, you want to check that so that you know you're grading it for an assignment. If you want to hide the score total for assessment results, then that is not going to give the total. However, I like to see the total and see what the students have made. But I do know that I would want this to be a graded uh, assignment. And then I'm going to click Create Rubric. And once I create the rubric, there we go, my discussion rubric has been created. And so now, if I was to go back to the Outcomes and I click on Manage Rubrics, I see that the discussion rubric has been listed. Even from here, I can click and look at the rubric and if I need to edit the rubric, I could go in and edit the rubric if needed. Thank you.